I'm Linda, and I'm here to show you how to make the fall uh, pipe cleaner tree. In your pack, in your uh, connections box this month, you'll see a pack of pipe cleaners and then a Ziploc bag full of uh, pom-poms and leaves and a few acorns and things like that. <clears throat> now, on your uh, leaf walk, you probably collected a few other small items like real leaves and maybe some real pine cones or pecans or hickory nuts. Feel free to add those to it, particularly if you have a, some uh, little bit larger nuts that you can hold. So you're going to start by getting your pipe cleaners, holding it in the middle and twisting them together as tight as you can. You want to twist it, twist it, twist it till you have about four inches down at the bottom, three or four inches, and you're going to spread those out. Those are going to be the roots that help hold it, to get, uh, hold it up so that it'll stand when you're done. And I like to do that part first. Uh, go ahead and get it um, a base so that as you add your pipe, your uh, pom poms and things, it'll help it stand up. All right, so there's your base. If you want to fold under some of the ends like this, you can. You make it however you want it. Now, while you're making your tree, I hold it. And if you have a younger child, you may want to um, hold it for them while they fill the tree with the pom poms. At the top of the tree, you've got about two or two and a half to three inches at the top that you're going to spread out to form kind of a basket. These are the, the limbs of the tree, and you're going to kind of fold them out to make a basket of sorts to hold the pom-poms and such. You want them fairly close together so the pom-poms don't fall through. It's not an exact science, so if if you need to move them as you go, that's fine. Now holding that tree in place so that it doesn't fall over, let them fill, starting with the biggest pom-poms, so that they'll kind of form a base for the smaller ones. If things fall through, it's not a big deal. You can bend them to make a bigger, I mean a um, tighter basket at the top, something like that if you need to. And just fill them in. While you're doing it, you might talk about the things that they've seen. What kind of branches did they see? Uh, were the trees, were there any leaves left on the trees where you live, or have they all fallen off? What's your favorite kind of leaf? Um, these are things that you'll be able to record on your journaling page, too. Um, so go ahead and fill it full of all the pom poms, all the nuts and anything else that you've found on your, your trip. This is an easy little craft to do. Um, your child may want to use it like while they're playing cars and trucks or um, a centerpiece on your fall table. Or maybe when they're playing with their dollhouse, this could be the tree outside. It can actually change seasons. So in the fall, you could take all the pom, I mean in the winter, you could take all the pom poms out and let it be bare branches. And in the spring, add some green pom-poms or maybe some real green leaves and some flowers on there. There's some confetti, too, that if you want to add it, you can. You certainly don't have to. That's kind of fun. Or you could scatter it around the bottom, creating the fall leaves. So there you've got it, your fall tree. If you need to straighten it up a little bit to let it stand, It'll stand by itself. 